if you want to back up your mobile device but you do not trust the cloud I will show you how in this video so if you you might have an iPhone or Android phone or tablet or any of these mobile devices but you don't want to back it up to iCloud or um, Android alternative then but, but you want to back back it up somewhere where you trust your own cloud your own hard drive your computer then there are there, there are ways of doing that because when you back up to the cloud you are not in charge of this data someone else is you don't know ex exactly what happens to the data when they can make some changes and when you need to agree to these changes so you may want to back your data to to your home to your hard drive so what do you need you need some sort of hard drive some sort of storage device at home so let's take for example something simple like Synology DS11 uh, 118 or something this is one bay unit or two bay unit which is a mirror device so you got two hard drives mirroring each other so it's, so it's all data backed up one drive fails you still got your data so depends what what level you want but anyway let's move forward <laughs> so how do we back up these things um, what you don't want to back up what you can still use cloud for is um, system files so if you so back up your to your iCloud things like um, apps or, or or this temporary data the apps are generating but um, keep your contact uh, say or any sensitive data, uh, data you got backed up to your destination of your liking somewhere to your home so you, you would need something like let's start with photos and videos you could use um, something like uh, Synology moments so it's going to back up your videos or photos automatically uh, you can also uh, free up some storage space on your mobile device if you click uh, clear data once the data is uh, once your multimedia or photos pictures are, are copied to to the NAS to your storage device you can wipe them to, to the, from the phone so you don't need to pay for this monthly subscription storage space for like iCloud or, or Android or whatever you got you don't you don't have this monthly payment to do so it goes to your hard drive so this this is how you back up your phones and your videos so it's with moments up uh, then also you want to back up your um, contacts and uh, and your calendars and your notes so you have you probably have seen uh, on your iPad when you add Google mail or something like that that um, when you go to accounts uh, mail contacts calendars calendars you just click other uh, on your on your Synology then you're gonna create um, card dav server which is um a, so a sort of system ba backup system server for storing your contacts so those contacts will not be living on your phone anymore they, they might be like cached backed up on your phone but they'll actually live on your hard drive in next to your router or something so whenever you add number or uh, add any changes it's actually added on that hard drive and um what's the beauty of it is not only single user scenario can, can be applied for this if you've got a family where you want to share certain numbers family numbers you can you can create two web um, a CalDAV sort of accounts on your phone one is your private keep your contact details private the other one would be public where um, your cousins your friends or uh, whatever is in your family circle uh, they add this additional account so they get these additional numbers phone them phone contact details added to your phone so whenever they update somebody's number add new friend or something uh, everyone in the circle who have um, added this card of, um, of card of uh, account will have the latest uh, number available so you don't need to every time like um, to yearly sort of refresh checking are all numbers still correct this is going to happen automatically so this is this is up to your choice so you can create two accounts one public one private or just keep it private it's up to you uh, you can um, uh, learn how to actually uh, add this on Snowgy website if you go for Cardav server it, it sounds more complicated than it actually is it's really just a few clicks away <laughs> and it's all done so that's for contacts and um, so we got so far multimedia contacts and the last would be card um calendar which is calendar backing up your calendar but backing up your um, notes um, you can add that to your, to your uh, android or your app, apple device uh, like iphone and stuff so when you go go again to your accounts as you saw in the beginning um, add uh, other 
then choose um, CalDAV, which is calendar, stands for calendar. And, and uh, Andre, if you've got the manual and uh, uh, Apple as well, just go to, again, Synology, how can I sync Synology calendar with CalDAV client? And um, just scroll through, it's gonna show you. It's a very simple process as well. Just do, this time choose CalDAV account and put your email address. So every, again, you can use it for your own sake, create your own like calendar or can, you can add another account which is again public for um, certain people you choose your inner circle uh, about some of these birthdays, names, they whatever they got some the celebrations to remember. So everyone adding new things to the calendar will appear on your phone automatically. It's everything's going to be synchronized, and um, you will never forget about someone's birthday again if you don't want it. <laughs> so that, that, yeah, you can go through this, this manual uh, what I showed you, and you'll learn how to do that. This is explained how to do it on mobile devices, also how to do it on the, on your Mac system if you want to. And there's a, another thing, if you're talking about these DAVs, there's also something called WebDAV, because um, if you know what is a mapping network drive, this is uh, when you go to your, like if you got iPhone files folder, you can, you can um, connect your network storage, what you got at home, to your uh, phone. So whenever you're in local local network, you can see all files what you got on 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 your um, NAS drive, without having any additional apps. It's all built in in your iPhone, for example. Or you can do the same for your Android. But the, the problem is when you leave the home, you're away from the Wi-Fi. You do not have this access anymore. So then there's a um, way around, which they call it uh, web dev. It means they'll link this um, storage space to your phone or your computer. Um, using this um, uh, web-based sort of uh, protocol. Um, so, so whenever you're away from the home, you can still access uh, storage, get, you can um, upload or download some files, uh, as, and as well, instead of keeping those files on the iPhone or, or Android phone, and which takes up storage space, and again, you need to pay for this, or you don't, but you just keep those files on your NAS. You go to OneDrive or TwoDrive or whatever backup system you got protection there available and all files will be living there. Whenever you need them, you just go to your files app and, and access them. Uh, you can again go to Synology uh, website, how do I access files on Synology NAS with WebDAV and it's, you can go through the steps and it's gonna show you how to uh, connect it to your computer, or Mac or, 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 or even mobile device. Uh, if you go to files you, uh, on your iPhone, you can you will see when you add server, you can you can see web dev, put your details in and you can get the folder view. So it's a very simple process. So these are the three things to actually back up your phone. You want to back up your multimedia pho uh, photos and videos. You want to back up uh, your contacts. You want to back up your um, calendars and, and, and notes. These are the really the, the most important things you want you would want to back up and, and keep some of the private away from, from the cloud. Um, if you've got any questions you can go to asknaskompares.com, put your question in there or go to the blog, uh, fill the form uh, and the if the question will be interesting enough we can find you can help other people as well with the answer we can shoot a video, upload it and um, and help the world. I hope this was helpful and um, have a lovely day.